Welcome everybody back to the Dragon's Liar. My name is Wade and I am super excited to welcome you to the first episode of my show, uh, Stranger Than Fiction. You can find us on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram as the space dragon space liar or the underscore dragons underscore liar. Let's get into it. We got a lot to cover and not a lot of time. So today we're talking about one of my favorite cryptids and mysteries of all time. It's the Mothman of Point Pleasant, West Virginia. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of things I want to bring up here that you might not have heard before, um, but uh, basically uh, the Mothman, the Birdman, or the Batman, because it was called all of those things, uh, appeared in and around Point Pleasant, West Virginia, in about a circle of an 80-mile radius around Point Pleasant. Um, I didn't know that at first when I started studying this. Uh, it was first sighted in 1914, um, but uh, it never really got any traction. It never really became famous. It hit some small local newspapers, and that was about it. <clears throat> um, and it was kind of spotted all over the Ohio River Valley. <clears throat> uh, like I said, they called it the Birdman, the Batman, the, the Mothman. They called it all kinds of things. <clears throat> um, uh, in November 1st, 1966, a National Guard soldier uh, stationed in the McClintock Wildlife Area, the Wildlife Management Area, uh, spotted uh, a large bird man uh, flying around. There is an official uh, documentation sighting of that in the National Guard. <clears throat> um, like I said in my intro video uh, to this show, um, everybody saw something is a belief of mine, and we got to go off of that in my opinion. I think that's a pretty big deal. Um, also, uh, four men digging a grave about 80 miles to the south in a different town at about dusk uh, spotted a uh, bat man that flew over them uh, while digging a grave. <clears throat> um, there's all sorts of other phenomenon that has been associated with the Mothman. At the same time these sightings were going on of the Mothman, you had all sorts of UFOs, UAPs, which is the new word for UFO, um, Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon, lights in the sky, um, encounters with men in black, uh, encounters uh, with other creatures uh, like the Flatwoods Monster. That's a picture of the Flatwoods Monster. Uh, that's a local area uh, creature that was spotted in and around the same time as the Mothman. <clears throat> um, so all these other strange things are happening. Uh, people show up wearing black suits and mysterious cars that have no markings and threaten people that have seen the Mothman or threaten people that have seen uh, these lights in the sky. There's even one account of a guy driving a car, a UFO lands right in front of him in the middle of the road, a guy gets out uh, who calls himself Indrid Cold uh, and has a conversation with the dude who was in the car uh, and asks him all sorts of weird questions and questions him about seeing lights in the sky. Um, I'm not saying that's real, I'm saying that's a story that one of the people had. <clears throat> um, so my, bleh, most sightings happen in and around Point Pleasant, uh, West Virginia, uh, in this area called the McClintock Wildlife Management Area. Now back in World War II, uh, that was turned into a factory uh, on 8,000 uh, acres of ground, uh, and they made explosives. And at that point in time, it was called the TNT area. So there's all these bunkers with explosives, and there's factories, and there's power plants, and there's all sorts of stuff on this 8,000 acres <clears throat> that's out there. Uh, however, it was abandoned in 1945, um, and after it was abandoned, they started dumping nuclear, not nuclear, they started dumping waste there um, and all sorts of other uh, hazardous products, and many of those bunkers and many of those contaminants are still there to this day. <clears throat> you can drive out there in the TNT area and see them. Um, so that kind of brings us to our uh, chief sighting, the principal sighting. Um, so there's four teenagers. I decided not to give their names because they've been through enough. Most of them have passed away by now, if not all of them. Uh, but the McClintock Wildlife Management Area became this place where teenagers would get in their car and they'd drive around because there's all these, you know, bunkers and there's all this road out there and it's in the woods and, you know, they're teenagers, right? <clears throat> this was in 1966. Um, so they're driving around and uh, they come up on this thing in the middle of the road and they said it was like seven feet tall and it looked like a man and it didn't really have a neck like a man so its head was like sunken down right <clears throat> and when the lights of the car shone on it, it the car scared it and it spread its wings and its wingspan was like 10 15 feet um and it ran away from them on two legs so they were pretty scared so then they drove off 
And uh, when they drove off, uh, they turned onto Route 62, which I'll show you a, a picture of in a second. <clears throat> and while they were on Route 62, they looked out the window and they see this thing flying above them, chasing them. They were so scared, they got up to like 90 miles an hour driving into town and this thing kept up with them. And right as they got into town, it turned and left. <clears throat> okay, so they go into town. They then report it to police, which then the police and the four teenagers drive back out and see it in a field, just like bumming around in a field. <clears throat> they get scared and they all go back to town. <clears throat> so then the four teenagers are separated, as the story goes, and they all give very credible very similar accounts of what happened. Uh, and that report, uh, that police report, is on file in the Mothman Museum in Point Pleasant, West Virginia. So these four somebodies saw something, and then the police came out and saw something. <clears throat> um, so this created such a, a scare that at one point, after a while, the National Guard was called out because over time, uh, in 1966, over a hundred sightings happened. And the reason why the National Guard was called out is because uh, nightly armed people would go out into the woods and they would try to hunt and find the Mothman. <clears throat> so these over a hundred sightings, what's really interesting about them is they are all very similar. Uh, it's of a large winged creature that, you know, it's between four and seven feet tall. Uh, it has a wingspan of between 10 to 15 feet. It really doesn't have a neck. It's got a head, but the head is kind of sunken down onto the body like an owl or like many birds. Uh, and it has these bright red reflective eyes. And basically everybody tells the same story, these bright red reflective eyes, these wings. It didn't have a neck, it had a head, but the head was kind of sunken on the body. Like everyone tells the same stories. <clears throat> so, all these stories are of a Birdman, of a Batman, of a Mothman. They're all very similar. They all corroborate. Um, <clears throat> the creature was sighted by business people. It was sighted by firefighters. It was sighted by pillars of the community. It was sighted by normal people that lived outside of town. It was sighted by people who live in town. It was sighted by five pilots in a plane in a local uh, area airport. It was sighted. Everybody saw something. <clears throat> um, at the same time, so during from 1966 to 1967, uh, the UFOs, the UAPs, lights in the sky, encounters with men in black, encounters with uh, strangers uh, acting strange, um, otherworldly beings, and in some cases even poltergeist uh, phenomenon was reported. And many of the people who have said to see the Mothman uh, said to suffer psychological effects afterwards, having nightmares, uh, anxiety, um, all sorts of, of psychological effects uh, that follow it. Um, all these sightings uh, persisted up and down the Ohio River, um, but kept within about 80 miles of Point Pleasant. <clears throat> Everything kind of came to a head in 1967 uh, when the Silver Bridge in Point Pleasant collapsed. Uh, there is currently no reason why the Silver Bridge collapsed. It's a big mystery. Uh, it was full of afternoon traffic uh, and dumped all sorts of people and cars onto the river. There were fatalities. It's a very sad uh, event that happened uh, in the town. <clears throat> um, the Mothman was never seen on the bridge. Uh, the Mothman was not seen in Point Pleasant afterwards. And afterwards, the UFO sightings died down significantly. <clears throat> uh, the Mothman has been seen around the world uh, in many places. Um, and this is the map. I kind of moved it a little bit so you can see where uh, Point Pleasant is. Ohio's over here, West Virginia's over here, and up here is the McClintic Wildlife Area up near the top of the map. So everything kind of comes together at the, where these rivers join. If you're interested in the phenomenon and the story, go ahead and check out the Richard Gere movie, Mothman Prophecies. <clears throat> um, that is it for this video. There's short videos, but I want to give you stuff that maybe you've never heard. Uh, and stuff that I am really super excited about, like the Mothman. Uh, thank you uh, for spending your time with the Dragon's Liar. You got a lot of choices. You can watch a lot of people on YouTube. And uh, I really appreciate you spending your time uh, watching my videos. Uh, join us again next time. Thank you.